Welcome back to another video, another day in the life. I have spent the whole morning editing. It's 12.45, I finally got my next video up. It seems like these days are just getting away from me and it's Wednesday morning and I'm supposed to have a video up. I'm trying, at least in my mind, to have videos up like on Wednesday and Saturday. That's kind of my goal, give or, t give or take a day. <laughs> So uh, this morning I was like, I have not even touched my next video. I've got to try and get that done. So I got the whole thing done. It was a short one, just a day in the life. It was Jackson's last day of summer and first day of school. So needless to say, I haven't got anything else done this morning, but it is almost one o'clock and I need to get my dinner in the crock pot. Look at my roses. Look at my beautiful, is that on yet? Yeah. Um, my beautiful roses. Elena gave me those for my birthday. My birthday was yesterday and we had a like, party celebrating our August birthdays which is Jackson and I outside on our new patio on Sunday and just us and the kids and my mom and then my sister happened to be in town from the Bahamas so she I didn't know if she could come or not but she stopped by but um she had to, actually had to leave early to catch her flight back but it was so nice just to have everybody here and I did vlog that so if you didn't see that vlog I will try to remember to link it above if not it should be a very recent video but yesterday on my birthday I just said I am going to enjoy my day I'm not gonna do any housework and so I just um, went out and did some shopping went to some thrift stores and then Madison when she got off work she texted and said hey I'll join you so we did a little shopping together and then I just wanted Mexican food for dinner and that was it and I had my bluebell ice cream that I showed you in another video so it was wonderful it was just super relaxing and I just got to do what I wanted to do which is which was wonderful next year i am 49 so next year is my big 50th so next year will be fun i said i want to go out next year but mary i mean uh, madison bought, uh, elena bought me those beautiful roses last night she is she her love language is giving gifts she's already given me so many things and then she came over to bring me some ingredients because i am going to be making some cupcakes for oh, she's in a one of her best friends getting married and she's doing like the bridal shower and so she asked me to make these like vegan dairy-free cupcakes they don't sound good but it's good ingredients so i'm sure they're going to be delicious so i have to make some of those and i'm going to make those today and i also need to get my dinner in the crock pot since it's already almost one it's a recipe i saw uh jill o'donohue no jessica oh, i always call her jill jessica o'donohue made on her channel it's like a chicken rig rigatoni in the crock pot looked amazing use cream cheese cream um heavy cream butter all the good stuff and you put pasta in it and i might put broccoli in it too and i don't always do that i always throw broccoli in to try and make it healthy oh and tonight we're probably hopefully gonna go pick up a dryer for my mom um yeah long story anyway it's gonna be like a really busy evening so i was trying to get my editing done so that i can really focus on all the other things i have to do okay i will link Jessica's video down below. She typed out the recipe in that video, so I'm just gonna uh, link that video. She only used two chicken breasts in her recipe, and I am too because Jackson won't eat this, <laughs> so it'll just be Marion and I. I'm just gonna go ahead and add everything to the crock pot, and then I think it cooks three or four hours on low. All right, scratch that. The recipe, she only did two, but she used the recipe, everything else, I think she did full portions. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do all four of them. Mm -hmm. 
This is cream of chicken soup with mixed with heavy cream and I'm not crazy about the chunks of chicken in cream of chicken soup so I th just thought I would strain it. Just get rid of those chunks so they're not in my chicken. Okay, that is gonna cook for four hours and then in a little while after it's cooked, I'll shred the chicken. It probably won't be completely uh, finished because it is a little bit frozen. And then you add more chicken stock and your dry noodles and then you add cheese and you cook it for a little bit longer and it's gonna be delicious, I can already tell. Heavy cream is my fa favorite and any, any dish that calls for heavy cream is amazing. So I'm gonna clean this kitchen up really quick and then I'm gonna start making the cupcakes there. A vegan chocolate cupcake. I guess I'll, if I can, I will link the recipe down below if anybody's interested. I don't know if anybody's going to be interested in them, but they say that they're delicious. So it's like they're, a, they're making s'mores cupcakes. So it's like that, but I'm just going to use the chocolate cupcake recipe and then a vegan buttercream. And then they're going to have little toasted marshmallows, graham cracker, and chocolate put on top. But that's just a minute, baby. That's going to be after like the day of the shower because we don't want all that to get bad. But I think I might toast the marshmallows and just give them to Elena a little bit toasted so she can just easily pop them on. We'll see. the cupcakes are finished they look amazing they smell amazing hopefully everything turned out I wish I could taste test them but I can't I'll have to ask Elena 
how they turned out, how they tasted, but I'm gonna make the buttercream for those this evening. The chicken is smelling so good. I don't wanna lift the lid, but in a couple more hours, I think um, about two more hours, I'll shred the chicken and do the rest of it. But we're gonna go get Jackson from school and then we're gonna go pick up our car because it's at the mechanic way to get oil change and inspection. And it's gonna be a busy evening. I'm still waiting to hear back from the lady about the dryer. Hopefully we can go over there. You know, sometimes on Marketplace, people don't get back to you or they ghost you, you know. So we got the dryer, praise the Lord. And she was super sweet. So I have to take, it's a long story, but we have to take it out to my mom this weekend probably and take her old one. And so we were just gonna have to do like everything in one day. So now at least we got that over with and I found it was only a hundred dollars and all the other ones were like 150 to 200. I have no idea why she only wanted a hundred, but I am so thankful. So got Jackson, ran all the other errands. I feel like I've been driving for the last hour. Got a Dr. Pepper's cream soda, zero sugar. For some reason, our ice machine is not working. It's like every, it does this like every couple weeks and we have to turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. And finally it will start working. And now it's just not been working for over like 24 hours. And um, I need ice in my drinks. I love ice. I love tons of ice. So I'm like, Mary, we're gonna have to go get a bag of ice pretty soon if it doesn't start making ice. I have no idea what's wrong. That refrigerator is only like September, I think we two years and we've had this problem for, for like the last year. So it's so irritating, but I know that is first world problems, having no ice, ice maker. But it is a beautiful day today. High of 81, feels so nice. Supposed to be almost 100 degrees on Friday and then a cool front. So I think summer is like, Still hanging on, still, still hanging on. All right, it's 5.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the chicken. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So it's been a little over four hours. I saw somebody, was it Marina? I don't know, I saw somebody using their little meat masher to, I think it was Marina, to cut up the chicken in the crock pot and I thought it was genius. Usually I like to take it out and like pick out all the gross, <laughs> the gross stuff, but this chicken, these chicken cutlets are pretty good. So this is not completely, I can feel it's not completely done. So you have to add a few more things and let it cook for like another hour or so. Ah, so I'm gonna add, um, when Je Jessica made this, she said you're supposed to use Gouda, that's what the recipe calls for. I've never had Gouda, I don't think, but um, she didn't have any, so she used sliced American, <laughs> which is so funny, but she said it was delicious. So I'm actually going to use sliced American. So use Gouda if you have it. She was going to use mozzarella, but she didn't have any. So I do have sliced American, so I'm going to add that. So I went ahead and put this on high because I did add a lot of noodles and I the chicken wasn't fully finished cooking. So I'm just gonna let it cook. Marion has, he's gonna go work out and Jackson's going to church. So I have a few hours like nobody's gonna need to eat right now. So I'm gonna just let it cook, see how long it takes. But always make recipes your own. I always do this. Also this called for hot sauce and I did not add any. So you know, you can always play around with recipes to your liking and I'm doing some meal prep for Jackson for his school lunches. I just am cooking up a bunch of chicken, bunch of pasta. He loves chicken and pasta together with some Parmesan cheese. It's his favorite. Okay, it is almost seven and I just, I think this is completely done. I just taste tested one of the noodles. This is so good. This is so good. I'm cooking in the microwave. You can hear I'm cooking some broccoli. 
I'm just gonna put it in just to make, you know, just to add some veggies into it, make it a little healthier. And Patrick just texted me, wanna know if he could come over. I haven't seen him since he got back from Alaska. He's been working, he had to go right back to work. He flew in at midnight, Sunday night, and then went back to work Monday. Told me he left work early today because he was tired, so <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. There is my dinner. I cannot wait to dive into this. It seemed like it was a lot of work, but it really wasn't. It was just throwing everything in. I think I did more worrying about if it's going to turn out or taste right, but it's amazing. There's Patrick back fresh off the ship. Alaska. <laughs> Actually, it's wow. uh, Wednesday, yes, and he got back on Sunday night, mm. so he's still trying to make up for the sleep. That he, that he lost. It's true. <laughs> Traveling's exhausting, but he just showed me tons of pictures, so mm. many pictures. It's so beautiful. They had the best time, of Amazing. course. Amazing. Amazing. And he's got so many pictures and videos, and mm -hmm. they had such good food, and... Which was delightful. Delightful. Oh, and amazing. he's, like, down one pound since he went, so... That's awesome. I know. It's so because they did so much walking and stuff. We walked about 40 miles. That's crazy. That's so fun. They had so much fun, but he's just exhausted. Also, True. I don't know if you know, but when you have head injury, you get really tired, really tired, more than the average person. So it's gonna take him a little while to recover. He's not <laughs> as he's not as super outgoing self tonight, but you know, True. he'll be back. He'll be back. Also, it's a huge time change. Six yeah. hours. Yeah, from Alaska yeah. to yeah, Virginia. To Virginia, it's six hours different. So mm -hmm. that's a lot on your body too, but so fun. And he's back at work and he just stopped over to tell me happy birthday and it was actually yesterday it was it was yesterday uh -huh. but i forgive him nice. but um he and i offered him some of my reg rigatoni it's so mm -hmm. good right mm -hmm. so good i definitely want to make that again so i just put the cupcakes in these boxes i have these like plastic containers with lids but a couple of the cupcakes were too big Okay, so it's actually the next day. I didn't get to ice these last night, so I thought I would just show you today how I make them. This is, I always make buttercream many times, and I use Crisco and butter and uh, powdered sugar, almond extract, a little salt, and milk. And you just kind of mix it until you get the right consistency. I've never made vegan before, so this is like a plant milk and coconut oil butter. Um, I had it on the counter yesterday and half of it melted, which is fine because I probably only need like one. Uh, makes a lot. I think it, it's like three cups of powdered sugar, so I'm going to do three cups plus half of that again. It's going to be more icing than I need for these cupcakes, but they're going to be s'mores cupcakes, so they're going to have white icing, chocolate cupcakes, and then I'm going to toast some marshmallows and then break up like a little chocolate bar and put a graham cracker on top. Okay, they're finished and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put the marshmallow on them because once the buttercream starts to harden, they might not wanna stick as much and then I'll let Elena just put the graham cracker piece on it tomorrow because these will get soggy in the buttercream and then I'll just cover these with saran wrap so that the marshmallow doesn't get hard. So we'll go ahead and decorate them. say goodbye thank you so much for coming back watching another video all your support i love you guys i appreciate you and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye